is going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another edition of On the Road to Victory. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and I hope you're all having yourselves a great hump day. That's right. It's hump day. We're here Wednesday, halfway through the week. Hope you're all having yourselves a great week. But we're going to get things started with a little bit of Eagles news. It happened last night, but I had way too much going on. So we're going to talk a little bit about the signing to the practice squad, and we're going to show a little highlight reel. I'll also post those highlights down below in the comments, so if you just want to watch those, you can always just go check those out. But I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you'll tune in later tonight. I will be live. We will be talking the birds. We're going behind enemy lines, getting to know the Eagles' Week 11 opponent, the Colts. So I hope to see you then, but let's jump right into this. So the Eagles today, well... Last night, Marquise Blair signed to the practice squad. He will now add to that defensive back room. And we talked about probably signing someone like that, maybe, you know, a defensive lineman, maybe a tight end, but we've got guys on the practice squad. So let's take a quick look at him. Then let's talk about him for a second, and then we'll take a look at the practice squad. Enjoy. <laughs> There you are, a little look at the Eagles' new practice squad safety here. But now let's take a look at those bio and the stats that flew by you there real quick. But uh, look, this kid, 6'1", 196 pounds, coming into his fourth year in the NFL, 25 years old. He was a second-round pick in 2019 by the Seahawks. He just most recently spent some time on the Panthers' practice squad this year. But most of his NFL experience comes from on the Seahawks the past three years. So. Out of Utah, this young man bringing some versatility to the table. He has only started three games, but he's played in 25. He's got 50 tackles, two, one tackle for a loss, three forced fumbles, three passes deflected. You saw that touchdown he had there. Not sure if that was uh, preseason, whatever. But, uh, yeah, this kid, you know, um, things I was reading about him, he is a box safety, a free safety. He can move all around the place, and he's a hard hitting dude and that is something that we need desperately so right now he's on the practice squad he would have to earn himself a spot on the active roster but none of the safeties we have uh, seem to be coming out to knock anybody's heads off now love what cj gardner johnson and marcus epps are able to do but we're talking about depth pieces here so uh, a guy like this maybe you want to try him out a little nickel work you know with these versatile defensive backs that's what the eagles have been doing so i'm sure this guy will get his chance and again a former second round pick and all you're doing is adding him to the practice squad. So I'm all about it. Maybe you elevate him. Maybe he makes his way onto the active roster. We'll see, but let's take a look at the Eagles practice squad. Now that we have Marquise Blair on there. And if you caught it yesterday, we talked about Auden Tate being let go. So you see on the left, you've got your offense. And now on the defensive side of the ball, you add another defensive back. We already have Goodrich, Gidry and McCain there, but now you add Marquise Blair. So, loading up on defensive backs, making sure we get through these injuries. So we shall see what the Eagles plan to do on game day. We'll find out on Saturday who the practice squad elevations are. But I will keep you updated throughout the week with all the injuries, all the signings. Later today, 
I would expect that Tyree Jackson gets activated off of the pup list. So we'll see about that. We'll see if maybe Dallas Goddard gets placed on IR. If any of those things happen, I will be dropping a video on that. But I will be live later tonight, live for Behind Enemy Lines, breaking things. I hope so. I'm pretty positive it will be live. If not, I apologize now. But uh, I'll see you guys later. And until then, I'm Jimmy Smith, and this is on the road to victory. You have yourselves a great day, and as always, Go Birds!